talk about today, man. <laughs> Oh, All right, we are live. Welcome back to Beastly Thoughts Live episode. Help me out, Robbie. I forgot already. 106. 106. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot to talk about. We got the PlayStation Neo. We're going to talk a lot about the PlayStation Neo today. I can't wait. I want to. I definitely want to hear you guys' opinions on this thing. I want to hear what you guys have been playing for the last week. I know Beastly is raring to go to go talk about the division, which I'm excited about. Uh, let's just jump right into it. All right. Beastly, what have you been playing? Well, this week I've been playing a bit of old games. I, I spent some time today playing Manhunt for PlayStation 2, which is uh, an old classic for me made by Rockstar Games. I forgot why I loved it so much until today. So I started it up. Just in case you guys don't know, there's an incredible PlayStation Flash sale going on that spans all three consoles, PS3, PS4, and PlayStation Vita. So if you got a few bucks to spare, check out the Flash sale, Flash sale and take advantage of some of these great games. I was able to get Manhunt. I was able to get... Um, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of the one that you guys just helped me remember. Metro. Metro, Metro Redux, yes. Oh I, I, I yeah. got um, Alien Isolation, and I also got, I'm trying to think of Rockstar's other game, where you're bully. in school. These, these Bully, yeah, Bully. bully. And not only spent There's some really yeah. good stuff on there. I'm, I saw Valiant Hearts is on there. Rogue Galaxy, I think a lot of people miss that game. Mark of Cree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the original Max Payne. There's just a ton of really cool stuff and on You're there. not going to spend that much money. I mean, a lot of these games I bought were $7, $8. Uh, I think I spent 12 for Alien Isolation. Uh, and, and it's really a great value. I saved $60. So, you know, when you have that kind of savings, there's really not much to think about. Just go in there and spend a couple dollars. But the majority of my week has been spent playing um the division uh, my wife and i have been going in on there we're both level 25 and uh man we haven't done any of the dark zone we've been just playing the game enjoying you know the the campaign of the game and it's really kept us engaged and intrigued we love the weapons we love the customization we did uh suffer a little bit trying to share items with one another and watching those items just disappear into thin air but um for oh. the most part we're having a lot of fun with the really division. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually happened to us. I gave her an incredible gun last night. It was the best gun I've ever seen. And you guys know in the division, the the weapons that you get actually out doing missions are better than the ones that you buy in the shops. You know, you got a yep. better chance of finding an exotic type of weapon. And I found a light machine gun that was head and shoulders above everything I had. And I had two similarly uh, uh, spec weapons, and she was really jealous of it. I said, "Here, now we can share, um, you know, weapons. Let me share this with you." And I shared it, and she received it. And then when she looked at her inventory, it was totally gone. So that kind of frustrated us, and we were to the point where we have no more sharing, no, no more of that shit. Yeah, but right. For the most part, we've been having a great deal of fun playing the division. Like I said, we haven't done any of the dark zone stuff, uh, specifically because we've heard that you really shouldn't go in there until you're level 30. Uh, and another game that we played, we actually didn't start. I got this game last week. I didn't start playing it until yesterday, uh, Dark, Dark Souls 3. And so we started playing that yesterday. Incredibly difficult game. And after Bloodborne, I know what it is now, so I'm really intrigued. We got past the first boss together. We're trying to figure out how the hell to play together. And, you know, sometimes these games take a little bit of trial and error to figure out all this stuff, how you actually invite your team or invite a, a member of your friends list to your world. We haven't figured that out yet. So instead of going through all the rigmarole and figuring that out right then, we just jump right back into the division. But it's been a great week in gaming. I'm looking forward to this coming week with all these new games that i never played before i'm looking forward to alien isolation never played that before and uh also i'm looking t forward to metro i haven't played those on uh, ps4 at all. metro is very fun it's yeah. very cool metro series yeah. is you definitely want to turn off the lights put a nice surround sound headset on and just just let it like kind of take you because it's fun oh okay and, and i just got a new surround sound headset too so yeah, I, I just picked up the uh, the Sony Gold uh, Uncharted 4 Thief's End uh, Blue Edition headset, the wireless headset, and it's really nice. It has virtual surround sound, uh, and so yeah, I'll I'll definitely try that with these new head these new headphones. I'm really excited about using yeah. those. I told you guys pre-show that my Turtle Beach Stuff 400s they cracked on me. As you guys can see, I have a ginormous fucking head, and well, both of them. But this head here, it actually broke my headset, and that uh, gorilla, had, gorilla noggin. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> yeah. And so I had to uh, go ahead and, uh, and and drop 100 bucks and get me the uh, Sony Gold uh, Uncharted 4 at these end edition, which is strikingly beautiful. The color of the headset, I want the controller, I want the console, but now I know I can't have them because the Neo is on the way. And that's been my week. Neo, Neo, Neo. Baby, Neo. <laughs> All right, before we move on, I just want to talk to you about the division a little bit because I've actually... 
I tried to get back into it uh, this week. I swear to God, I played it for like half an hour. I'm just like, fuck it. I don't like this game. Like, I just don't like this game. Uh, which sucks because I was really looking forward to it. You guys know yeah. that better than anybody. Yep. Um, and to me, it's just like, it's just so repetitive and the shooting just isn't there for me. But I was having this, like, I don't I wouldn't call it an epiphany, but this thought that, you know, the same shit I'm saying about this game is the same shit that everybody yes, was saying about Destiny. About, the, Destiny. about Destiny. Exactly. When I was like, you know what, I don't care. I understand there are problems with this game. I understand your complaints. And I even agree with them, but I'm still having a blast playing it. I feel like the, the Vision has got like a hardcore audience like that, that, you know, they, they hear your complaints. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of bullet sponges, but uh, yeah. what do you expect? It's an RPG. Well, there's not a lot of variety. Well, what do you expect? It's set in modern times. Mm -hmm. Well, it, the the levels are bland. Well, what do you expect? It's New York. Yeah, New York, yeah. You know, like all those arguments that people throw around, they're like, yeah, whatever. We like this game. And like, I, I got to respect that, man. At this point, people are li liking that game. I know the incursions came out. Robbie, did you play the incursion? No. I mean, I just stopped playing no. the division after a couple of weeks. It just didn't have the pull for me, especially Destiny. Destiny is an amazing game, and I got pulled into that. But this game, it just didn't have the same feeling for me. I mean, it's a fun let, game. Right. I respect what it is, but I just can't get into it. Let, 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 let me tell you guys how <clears throat> we're feeling, and I can probably speak for my wife, too. Um, right now, the division is... It isn't a bad game. It isn't the best game, but it's engaging enough for me to see it through to level thirty. That's once I, I feel yeah. like once I get to level thirty, I can sit it to the side and I'll ever have to mess with it again. Uh, it is extreme. You don't think you'll continue on like if, if they with the incursions and with the dark zone stuff? Possibly, but see, oh. right now I got so many, so many games. Yeah to play it's really hard to stick with it and and so that's another thing we talked about yesterday instead of getting right into dark souls i told her i said we start doing this now we're level 20 you know and and um the division we're going to stop playing that and that's going to be another game that we had to go back to and we're going to lose the excitement we've been having all week to play it and so we've kind of agreed to go through level 30 and just call it a day maybe fool around a little bit in the dark zone see how much we like it but the the uh the problems that you see in the division i see them too i think anyone with eyes can see them it's extremely repetitive it's extremely frustrating when you have a very powerful weapon and you're just plowing shots into someone's head a hundred shots i'm not exaggerating you can shoot someone a hundred times and they'll still be coming nothing it's happens like, yeah yeah it's it's just really <clears throat> really frustrating when you have those type of situations that kind of take you out of the realistic aspect of what the game is i told uh kate last night that if they really want this game to feel more realistic, they should have given the AI better maneuverability so that they are harder to hit rather than put them right in front of you so you can shoot them 500 times before they hit the ground. Because yeah. if all of a sudden yeah. it does not feel like you're in New York fighting against gangs. It feels like you're in New York fighting against a, a team of RoboCop. You know, these guys are extremely <laughs> difficult to take down. Uh, the, the play mechanic is pretty much the same. Of course, it's an open world environment. But all it is is a rinse and repeat when it comes to fighting these tougher enemies, yellows, uh, purples. Uh, and it, there's really no change to the mechanic. It's just more of the same rinse and repeat. But for the most part, I like to just go. I have, I have no clue what we're doing. I'm just I'm telling you now, Kate knows the story. I don't care because it didn't grab me initially. So mm -hmm. we're together. I'll join her party. She'll say, we're going this way. I'm like, all right, just go. All right, let's go shoot these guys. Let's mow them down. Okay, where are we going now? Okay, let's go. I'm not. What's the purpose the, here? <laughs> the story hasn't really grabbed yeah. me, and and Destiny, honestly, I think Destiny's story probably grabbed me a little bit more. And if they both come out at the same time, I'd be playing Destiny. That's for sure. But me I played too. so much of Destiny, uh, you know, over the course of the last two years, I feel like I've seen it all, and so this feels like it's something new. So until I hit level thirty, there's always something new for me to be doing, and that's why I'm playing this. But I feel like once I get to level thirty. It'll be over. I'll probably jump on over, play some Dark Souls 3. I still got to go back and play Metal Gear Solid. There's a lot of stuff I got to play. But yeah, I, I see the issues, and I know there are a huge amount of people enjoying The Division, and nothing against that, you know, uh, yeah. to each his own. A lot of people think Briar Rabbit's crazy for sticking with Destiny to the degree that he has. You know, I think <laughs> we he, all yeah, tell namely my wife. Yeah, namely my wife. <laughs> Your wife. You know, he got Destiny tattooed on his balls, you know, and... and, and oh. How would you know not about that? <laughs> that was supposed to be a secret between you and that. me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but some people think, you know. Never trusted people, you again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is yeah. 15. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to get taken man. down for this. This is horrible. <laughs> but, you know, to each his own. And, and some people will say, oh, man, I can't play a game that long that consistently without it having something new to offer every single day. 
but if you like something, you like it. If you love it, you love it. And for the people who enjoy The Division, play it, man. You're a gamer. Enjoy what you're playing. To people who like Destiny, play that shit. Enjoy it. To people who love The Last of yeah. Us, play it. It's an amazing game. No, fuck that. Uh, game. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You know how hard it is to get the last of us tattooed across your ball sack? It goes all the way to both thighs. All right, so <laughs> continue on, guys. What have you guys been playing this week? Good God. Uh, yeah, so I've been... <laughs> we play like, older games. I've also been playing Dark Souls 3, which is not an older game. But uh, I'm almost done with that game. I'm on a final uh, boss. And let me just tell you... That, uh, Let me ask you a question, a question not too nerdy. Yes. Um, when you look at Dark Souls 3, how does it compare? Because I played through, I beat the first boss. To me, he was pretty hard. I don't know if I'd say he was as hard as the very first boss in Bloodborne. But how would you compare the two, tit for tat? If they both were to come out at the same time, which one do you think would, would resonate more with you as a gamer at that time? I think because I preferred Dark Souls like more. But the thing is with Bloodborne, Bloodborne sped it all up. It made everything faster. Like, because Dark Souls was used to be a really slow game, and because Bloodborne came around, they made it faster. They also faster. made Dark Souls 3 faster now. Like, Dark Souls 3, the thing that you notice is different. You could go and keep attacking people swing for swing, as opposed to before. It used to be you hit once, and you, you sidestep and yeah. move, and, like, you move around. Now it's you're more attacking a lot. You could, some characters, some uh, uh, enemies you could go approach, and you could do, like, attack, 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 and then dodge. As before, it's like one attack and you have to dodge like four times, you know? And it took forever to to get through a boss. Now it's like, it, it's a little you know, a little bit faster paced now, which I like. But it, it's also like the original, I think, Dark Souls in a sense that like uh, certain things are back. Like, you know, there's hidden walls and uh, just certain items. So even some of the uh, enemies and people you face, some of them are for original Dark Souls. So like, so it's like directly related to that Dark Souls, which I think it's pretty cool. And it pays homage to the people that actually enjoyed Dark Souls. Like, it it, it help it lets you, like, exp relive those moments again, which is pretty cool. But cool. overall, I think this is the the best overall uh, Souls Dark game. Souls because I, I think, think so it's too. yeah. Also, when it came out, I feel like this game isn't as faulty as the other ones like i i mean yeah there's there's some <laughs> things there you know the frame rate drops up but for the most part it's probably the most stable dark souls to date like when it first released obviously they'll probably do patches and stuff to fix it up even more but i'm saying as of right now when it's released i think it was a the most stable one which doesn't mean it doesn't have bugs i'm just saying compared to other dark soul games it's more stable um but besides that well, I also, as, what were you saying Coming from Bloodborne, that's actually the first game of the Souls, I guess, style of game that I've ever played. This has so much more, it seems like. I, I don't say it's overwhelming, but it is, for me, coming from Bloodborne, a little bit more to learn. But I think overall it'll be more rewarding. There's a strong attack. There's a, um, a fast attack. There is a block. There is a parry. And you can, of course, switch over. I, I picked a magician or a wizard for my for my very first class against all the, the FAQs that told me I shouldn't. And you can also use magic. And so there's a lot of things that go into come into play when you're playing this game and different ways to dispatch enemies. And I find that very engaging because it's not just hack slash, dodge, hack slash, dodge. You can hit somebody, you can block someone, you can parry. They do have the special, you know, super strong attack that once you par parry someone, just like in Bloodborne, they fall down, you run to them, and you can hit them with a very powerful attack that almost mm. steals their heart. This I game think... seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I've, on I've only put in maybe an hour or so, but I'm really looking forward to diving deep into it the same way I did Bloodborne. See, 
there's a there's a moment in time where as I was going again closer to the end and then like when I actually I didn't want to know if I was close to the end until eventually I'm like let me just look up see how much longer I have to play this game because I have a bunch of hours in this game already so I'm yeah. like all right I look up I'm like I'm almost done with this like you know what I might be able to do new game plus mode nope that if I can't even beat this final boss like this there's no way I can even comprehend getting to half the game with new new game plus i don't know how i'm gonna do it. I, I might attempt it but for right well, now well, i'm enjoying the games so early early statements from the developers uh stated that they couldn't do it and they made the game yeah. so um good luck yeah. if you do that i want to see a let's play of that no I, yeah, my goal you know what though once 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 people get a hold yeah. of this game or well, people already have it i bet there's people streaming it right yeah. now yeah like under oh. boss and like I can't do. I can't beat him. So, like, my, my point is, like, I my goal is to, if new game plus one, if I could beat one boss, I'll quit. I'll, I'll drop. I'll drop the keyboard <laughs> and the mouse, and I'll walk <laughs> out of here. Never again. I'll play Dark Souls. I don't need to. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll quote you on that. Be like. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, oh, oh glows too. Anyway, <laughs> that's a I'll, that's a big old. But you got that chroma shader. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, I've been playing uh, Left 4 Dead too. I was streaming that, and I also streamed the the Walking Dead, the Michonne, uh, all the bad choices. I did that, and I did that for charity. So it's a uh, it's a charity it's to help. Charity, like, right? Yeah, it's for uh, babies that you know are born premature and stuff like that. That's what it helps them. The reason why I'm doing it is because my two nephews were actually uh, very premature. My one nephew weighed a pound and a couple of ounces. Oh All right, God. that's like oh that's God. on the verge of like really bad. But you should see him now. Like he, that, he's like uh, 17 months now. You know, big kid already. Like he's beyond like everything that they said he couldn't do. He's completely like. You know, he's almost on the verge of being completely healthy. You know, he's at the weight he's supposed to be. He's at the height he's supposed to be. So he's actually taller than what he's supposed to be. And same thing, the weight, everything's like, he looks like he's right older than he should okay. be. So, like, and, you know, they have uh, How long did you like stream? That. Uh, I streamed for, like, uh, three hours at one point. Then I went back, did another four hours. It was pretty cool because it was, like, I got told $310. So I, I think everyone that did that, that's pretty nice. cool. Um, That's awesome. Most of it, the people, the reason why they show up right away online, they have to verify because a lot of people just donate were international. I didn't know that it takes some time for PayPal to verify everything, but I uh, still appreciate it. That was awesome. I'm probably going to be doing more live streams for this charity because the March or the what it is, it's supposed to be 5K that they're doing. It's not till, I believe, May 7th. So I might do a couple more live streams for it, but it's a lot of fun. You know, I've been having fun. Let me know if you do, please. I'd like to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it, but it's a lot of fun live streaming, man. I, I I turned up my uh, the specs, the PC, that and I did everything. So now, now, like when I live stream, like I don't know if you guys saw like the videotape on my YouTube channel. Now that's all live, and like the quality is really high already. So like I'm actually excited yeah. that I, I tweaked out everything so good that it actually looks good, even if I record it later, and it still looks like it's you know was edited and it wasn't as live. So I'm pretty happy with nice. that. So oh yeah, man. PC Master Race, and we I mean, don't have to ask Mr. Not Too Nerdy what he was playing on either, because he has forsaken all fucking consoles. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm not sick. true. Like, <laughs> no, he only plays <laughs> consoles that are 20 years or yeah, older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. yeah, yeah that's true. Uncharted, <laughs> hey, Uncharted 4, when that comes out, man, you know I'll be playing the PlayStation Woo! 4 the whole time. So, like, Yeah, I'm looking forward yeah. to that. That's coming right around the corner, too. Yes. Yeah, yes, well, so May, May 10th, right? May 10th? Yep. I, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's coming soon. Before we get, before we get to Robbie, I got a quick question. Have any of you guys tried the new Ratchet and Clank? No, I am dying to though. I'm I've heard buying it's it. great. I'm buying it. That game looks phenomenal. Yeah. It's doing very well as far as scores go, and it looks like finally a good, uh, other than Bloodborne, an extremely good PlayStation exclusive. And it looks like a pick. I don't even care that it's PlayStation man. exclusive. I just like Ratchet and Clank games. Yeah. Those games are fun. They're quirky. They have fun characters. They're just lighthearted. You know, in a in a in a world where we got like, you know, we got mass apocalypses and zombies ah, and bloodborne and, and shooters. you know, like all these <laughs> awful things, it's like this kind of sugar coated, fun, just yeah. light hearted, fun kind of thing. You know, it's like easy auto aim, blow stuff up, have a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so yeah, much well, fun. I'm going to be love those games. Definitely, it looks cool. Right. It looks definitely cool. 
So, Mr. Rob Skull, what have you been playing this week? Uh, this week, I didn't play as much, but Dark Souls 3, I mean, we already talked about it. Excellent game. I think it probably is my favorite in the Souls series. I put 21 hours into it, 22 hours, so really enjoying that game. Uh, I got into the Gears of War 4 beta as well, actually. I got an early access. I really like it. You know what, though? Gears of War isn't for me. I'm starting to realize, like, the game is fun. It feels a lot like Gears of War. There isn't much new here, but I just, I don't think Gears of War is for me. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a, a shotgun It's an fest. open beta right now, right? It's an open it beta right open now, right? Tomorrow. Today. I thought it was today. I, I, it today? Alarm, I thought it was tomorrow, but sure either way, it's, it's about 24, to go over. Yeah. Robbie, Robbie. Um, you played Gears of War when I when I was trying it out. Was it me? Because you, you used to play Gears of War before, or you never played Gears of War? First Gears of War I ever really played was yeah. Ultimate Edition. I had never it's, played it much before something's that. Something's up with it. I, I was asking one of my friends that plays it, like, because I love Gears of War. Like, that that was my thing. That For Xbox, that was, like, the only thing. I mean, besides Halo, but, like, that was back in the day. Halo 2 was the one I loved. But yeah. Gears of War, for me, was, like, I love that game. But it just seemed jittery. The run, I don't know what really? it was. Is the game seemed jittery, like when you're running and stuff like that. It seemed like it actually got me a little sick every time I was running, which it never me used to too. do. Like to, I didn't notice like, that. Yeah, you know oh, what I'm wow. saying? Like it seemed jittery. It wasn't like the normal run cam that they had, like where it's a shaky cam. It, it seemed like like extra jittery. I, I don't know what it was. I mean, there's a frame rate. You couldn't see anything when you're running. Exactly. It, it was just seemed like the background, like. Like all the background it distorts, it distorted, and it just made you kind of sick as you're running. Like it made you not wow. want to run to a new location. And like, you're definitely I, right, Hector. Yeah, yeah, I never felt that before in a Gears of War game. And, and usually, some people it gets you have to get used to the shaky cam. But like, it, this is to a whole new level because the background looks like it's distorted and it's shaking as well as you you're can't shaking. See anything? And yeah. people will start shooting you, and you can't even see them because you're yeah. running at them. You think they're trying to like slow that? You know, my biggest complaint with multiplayer in that game has always been the fact that there's basically one way to play, and that's like run at your opponents and start rolling around like a madman with a yeah, shotgun. It's the exact same thing. You here. think maybe they're trying to like? Oh, you can still do it though. <laughs> the, 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 that's what, you can still yeah. do it, but I mean, at, at least maybe now with that limited visibility while you're running, maybe that's to try and slow people down a little. Makes bit. Me sick, I so. <laughs> that's only- yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> not, that's not good to hear. I was actually telling my wife before the show started that as soon as it's over, I'm going to go ahead and download the beta. Uh, I've seen some some gameplay of the closed beta. It looks okay. I'm more interested in playing the single player, to be quite honest. But if that, you know, the, the shaky... Me too, that's where I get The shaky cam is really that bad where you're running, you start to, you know, get vertigo. That's a major problem. They're going to have to fix that. I mean, that's what I'll say. They can still fix it. You know, they still have time to fix it. I'm just saying, like, right now, it just feels, it kind of makes you sick. So I'm hoping that that's something that they already know, that they just test something out and they'll fix it. But if it's like that on release, I, I can't buy that. I don't see I don't, myself wow. playing that game. Like, that's a yeah, bummer. Say, yeah, you that's... can't see anything when you're running. And honestly, here's what I'll say about Gears of War 4. I think it's excellent. If you like Gears of War, you'll definitely enjoy it. I don't like Gears of War because all you do is roll around someone and blast them with a shotgun. And it takes way too many bullets to kill people. So if you like Gears of War, like they've done a really good job here, I don't really care for Gears multiplayer. So that's what I think of it. Oh, there's going to be a riot. I assumed I was just going to buy this because I like playing I like playing the campaigns. You know, Campaign So I just assumed good. I was going to buy it. But maybe I gotta wait till reviews come in before I. Oh, pick Briar, it up. though the one good thing is with the shotgun you talk about, they didn't they nerfed it a little bit. It's not as severe. It takes more than one shot for shotgun. It's not like before where you could go up to someone. You gotta take a couple more shots with a shotgun now. So yeah. it, they That's they good. fixed that issue. So that was always frustrating to me that you know like I could have like a plan with like a buddy or two, and w- you know we got. We got everything locked down, but if I start shooting somebody with a lancer, it takes like thirty seconds to kill them, and meanwhile they just roll up to me and kill me with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah it seems annoying. like or the the sticky grenades. I never oh, liked the yeah, sticky. They still got those. Yes. <laughs> it was fun at first, but now, it was annoying after a while. Let me ask you a question, Briar. Um, how long were you playing the Gears of War while this is going on? Did they ever patch that to get the balancing right? Now you guys know I never really got into the Gears series. Actually, series. The first time I really ever started playing it was on Xbox One with Gears Two. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. I think the campaign's amazing. But uh, it seems like a multiplayer issue like balancing of that caliber would be patched. They left it like that? I mean, I didn't play a ton of multiplayer because I didn't. 
It just wasn't my deal. Yeah. Like I, I, sniper rifles were really powerful and shotguns I, were really powerful. That's kind of gotcha. my I don't think they ever like that. That's just part of the game. Like shotguns, part of the game for gears. Like gears. That's just the way it is. Because like you, like Briar yeah. said, you tumble around. You go from uh, cover to cover, <laughs> and roll. then you do a shotgun. You know, Constantly. like you do. You do. Yeah. I see them rolling. Like you switch up weapons. You they know, for when they're further, <laughs> but when they're closer. You know? <laughs> Guess you right. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, Only you, bro. You just come out of nowhere with this shit. I swear. <laughs> Kate, 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 uh, uh Phil over there from Xbox singing that song right there, trying to catch me riding there. <laughs> Gonna catch me riding there. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, this Beasley Thought Show is uh, sponsored today by Chameleon Air, a rapper that no one <laughs> speaks about today. If you guys right. know where he is, let us know because no one <laughs> knows where he know. is. <laughs> He's watching he the podcast right now. His rap career has failed. He's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Robbie, anything else you've been playing? Uh, a lot of CSGO as well because I really enjoy that game on PC and I think it's a lot of fun. Nice. And that's been about it for me. So it, 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 right. apparently the Beastly Thoughts hosts and I mean the co-hosts we're all making this transition. It, it appears that Mr. Not Too Nerdy is fully into the PC infrastructure. That's not true. Mr. Robbie Skull <laughs> has one foot and both balls into the PC. And Briar, you, yourself balls and myself, deep. we are still yep. into the concepts. Balls deep in that PC. Get balls deep in that PC. You got to go down on that PC. You know well, it. Damn. <laughs> First of all, yeah. Briar, Briar has a Mac. So, I mean, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to throw I was actually I was talking about this with uh, Tefty and Patrick from the Play at Destiny podcast. Is I keep telling them, yeah, I got a PC on order, and then I keep canceling the order. Right, I can't pull the trigger on a goddamn PC. I must have ordered. I must have placed my order for a PC over about a year now. So since I started streaming with Play at Destiny over the last year, I bet I've I've actually placed the order three times. Wow. And then canceled it because <laughs> I just like I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> one of us. I know I'll be happy one with one. Part of, of it isn't is it just the fact that it's a PC. Part of it is that I know we're right on the cusp of like the next generation of graphic cards, the next ge- generation of uh, gra- uh, processors. VR, all that. So it's like ah oh, man, I kind of want to wait. Yeah, there will be something new. I bet this fall, like AMD and Nvidia. Yeah, but there's always something it's new. You know, there's always soon, something around in the, the next couple like weeks i think they're going to announce it for amds first and then nvidia are going to announce their new graphics cards so. titan xx that'll be the next one <laughs> all right guys titan so let's try to, we gotta get this that's what my wife calls going. me you know what i'm saying let's get the news going because there's something in the news that <laughs> she we calls you really titan on xx oh boy hold on i didn't even talk about what i've been playing oh shit i'm, I'm trying to hear you now Brian, go ahead move on. she calls you what now <laughs> That's we've, been on. we've been playing with the with the cushion. All right, we can move on. <laughs> I've been playing Destiny. I'm loving. I'm actually. I'm happier playing Destiny right now than I've ever been uh, because of the update 2.2 that came out a couple of weeks ago. The fact that no matter what I want to do in Destiny right now, they patch this game in a major way. If the loot is raining from the sky. What? Like mana from God right now. Like there's so much loot coming down. It doesn't matter what I'm doing in Destiny. I'm getting mad loot. I feel like I'm progressing my character, uh, and I'm having a ton of fun. I played a little Trials today. Uh, they added this no HUD mode, so you can remove the HUD from your from your uh, display. And we we're playing hide and seek on the stream yeah, today, so you could you get a bunch of people in, into uh, to land on Venus and then you just go hide and somebody's got to run around find it. It's something we learned from Gethalian and that Bro Man. Fun, man. Uh, it, it was fun, man. You know, you're talking shit the whole time and you're laughing. I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> you, know? like, you had young kids in there too. You were talking shit. <laughs> it was, uh, you know. <laughs> there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Question, you're a dirtbag. Right? Yeah, no, no. There's a shame there. This... this, this this new patch, uh, you said they changed a lot. The prison yeah. of elders, I hear that now you don't need uh, the crypt keys to open those up. You can just yeah. Ch- so they there's like a new version of prison of elders called challenge of elders. Very quick, you're in and out of there in a half an hour. The difficulty is very low. What they did is instead of having like a big boss fight that's very difficult, they added like challenges to it where you got to get a certain score to get the loot. Like you got to get thirty thousand points in one run through. And then you can get a cumulative score as well by going in multiple times to get loot. So, and the the 
the challenges are like, you know, you get more points by hitting headshots, or this week it's you get more points by uh, killing with grenades. And, you know, so you go in there with a warlock, which, you know, constantly is getting more grenades. You're just blowing shit up all over the place. Actually, I did this with uh, Story Machine, another YouTuber. And, I mean, we had a ball. We had an absolute blast doing it. It's it's a fun thing to do. It's not hard like the old Prison of Elders was. It's more of just a entertaining thing. So this new update is, from from the sounds of it, is Breathe New Life into Destiny. For somebody who hasn't played it. For no, me, it really has. For someone who hasn't played it in probably six months, is there a reason for me to jump back in and try it? I mean, it's very it's uh, very casual friendly right now. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to be leveling up your character. Um, as opposed to up to this point, you really had to run the King's Fall raid on hard mode to level up your character. Now it's just like everything gives you high-level gear. Uh, they brought back a ton of the year one weapons uh, with higher light levels, so now they're relevant again. Galahorn? Uh, there's a bunch of new weapons. No, not Galahorn yet. yet. Not, not Galahorn. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like a fun time to play Destiny right now because there's just a bunch of fun stuff to do. And no matter what you're doing, no matter what you prefer to do in Destiny, you're going to, you're going to be getting awesome gear. Okay. And that's cool. Question, that's right. I, I'll, I'll be playing that this week. I'll be playing that this week. Uh, quick yeah. question. Now, I, before, were, is there any other games you played this week before I ask you the question or? Okay. <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> You're so guilty. Four, 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 I was going to ask. I, I was wondering, right? When Destiny 2 comes out, do you think, yeah. how, how do you think they're going to handle the servers for the first Destiny? Do you think that's going to be one of those things that are going to do a cutoff? Or mm -hmm. how are they going to try to force people to go into the next Destiny? That's why I was kind of wondering. I was like, I wonder what you would think on that. Do you think it's going to be, because it is active, or you think that they're going to try to force people to move over. They could have some sort of an incentive, like maybe even the game costs less if you own the first Destiny or something like that, or your I, I think they will keep the servers going, though. I Because, like, I don't think that Destiny 2 is going to come out for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. No, no, it definitely won't. It won't. So I think they will keep the servers for Destiny going. They'll probably pull back on it and more and more over time. But if you want to go back and play some... Destiny, you could still do that. Okay, I think so. I, I think they will yeah. keep them around. All right, fair enough. Okay. I don't know though. I don't even know if they're going to be a Destiny two or they're just going to be An like update. They're just going to continually upgrade and like this, you know, this expansion that we expect to be Destiny two will just be like the biggest expansion we've ever seen. Maybe that's how they move forward. You know, it might not be a separate game. It might just be. I don't a, think anyone has room in their hard drive for that. I'm like, pretty sure they've said it is a separate <laughs> game. <laughs> right? it's like, I guess that's true. It's like, oh, it's oh, like oh, a 60, not too nerdy, 60 you gigabyte, me. 60 gigabyte update. Like what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> a whole new game. We got, too all right, we got to talk about the PS Neo, man. We got to talk about this because one thing that I was really surprised is it's not going to have a bigger hard drive. How the fuck are we going to deal with that? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess it's okay. The cost is going to be down, right? Because then either way, you could put your own hard drive in the, in the PlayStation. So I think I that's fine. I mean, it would have been nice for a bigger like hard drive in the beginning. But yeah, but you could go get a two gig hard drive at the dollar store yeah, now. Come I, on. But here's yeah. here's what I think. Right? In the family dollar. Let me say it one more time. I still say they're not going to play 4K games. I'm sorry. I know, everyone, it's keeps not. Say, we, everyone keeps saying no. it, and they're like, "It's a four. I'm like, "Why? Like, they're it's not." It's a four hundred dollar console. There's no chance. If you have any understanding of hardware, you know this thing will not run games in native 4K. It can't. Like, well, not, There's well, no way the hardware is powerful enough. To be clear, that the price has not been set. It's been speculated that it'll be three ninety nine to four ninety nine, and I don't even think the four ninety nine price point justifies an actual four K native system. Uh, from what I understand, from all the specs that have been leaked, this thing is just going to up res regular 1080p games to 4K for people who are fortunate enough to own 4K TVs. You know, there may be like an odd like indies, indie game that yeah. comes out that has yeah. very like low res textures. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe it's like one of those like um journey like or geometry something. war yeah. types of games that that runs in 4k i could see that no, triple a games but games like destiny or uncharted or ratchet and Clank, no, no way chance. one thing Not though that i still have a feeling they didn't i don't think they confirmed because none of this is truly confirmed yet like there this is like the one thing is if they're going to have the 4k blu-ray disc reader in there that's what I want to know yeah. because if they have that, which would make sense because Sony needs that to sell. 
Be, you know, I mean, like that would make a lot of sense if they do that. That would be big. That would be awesome. That's one of the things they announced because I think that's going to sell it to it the would people. Sell like crazy. That will yeah. sell the people who are not even gamers because then yeah. that that's worth yeah. that plus you know oh it plays Having games too I'll get that and then then they'll also get capabilities. it. Capabilities. Can you imagine it, it, that? Yeah. It would reduplicate. All right, real quick. Here's what we we think we know about it. This all comes from Giant Bomb, who did some investigative reporting. Uh, they we know that we're getting a faster processor, a faster graphic card, and a faster or faster memory. Yeah. The same amount of memory, yeah. but more of it will be available to developers on the Neo than on the base PlayStation Three. Uh, we've heard that the hard drive will remain the same size. Uh, but PlayStation is going, making steps to make sure that people who play on the PlayStation core system, the the stock system, the system we have now, won't get left behind. Um, if you develop a game for the PlayStation Neo, it has to be on the PlayStation uh, core as well. Uh, there can't be any features, like game features, available on the Neo version that aren't available on the core mm -hmm. version. So, like, if you have split-screen multiplayer on the Neo version, it, better be it has to be on the core version as well. Um, I mean, I, th I, th I think that's interesting. They're trying to not make f people who already have a PS4 feel left behind. Yeah. Maybe if you've got a 4K TV, maybe if you've got some expendable income, maybe it's worth the upgrade. Right now, I got to say, it's, not pr it's probably not worth the upgrade for much of anybody. But we'll all buy it, right? We well, probably will. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, well, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna buy it. I'm buying. Yeah, I'm buying one for sure. I asked my wife, does she want one? She said no. But the reason that I'm I'm buying, I don't have a 4K TV. I got a beautiful 60 inch 1080p in my living room, um, and to me, that's still new. So there's no reason for 4K for me right now. I want it predominantly for the uh, better frame rate possibility. Uh, right. You know, the better, higher pixel density in some games. And for a better VR experience, because that's really what I'm gearing up for this year. I want the best PlayStation VR experience that I can have from a home console. Because we all know that PlayStation VR can't compete with Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive when it comes to overall hardware. And Sony knows that the PlayStation 4 can't compete with high-end PCs when it comes to VR. And so I think that this is kind of a move to make the VR on PlayStation VR more com you know, competitive with uh, you know, the PC Master Race. And to me, that makes a And apparently sense. this graphics card that's in this thing, it, it on paper, it doesn't look that much faster. It says it's like 1.3 times faster. It's actually a decent amount of power. But it actually power. has... Uh, what's that? It has significantly more yes. power. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, so, like, you can have a game with higher res textures running at a faster frame rate mm -hmm. than on the stock PS4. Like, both of those things are possible. Yeah. One thing... Now, like, the developer's point of view, like... When they there's a problem with this, right? There's only one thing yeah. that I just want to make clear to people is like they're only gonna pick one target range, right? So they're, yeah. if you think they're gonna they're gonna program for one for the regular b base model and also the neo, that's not what's gonna happen. When you are gonna develop a game, you're gonna target one, and you're either gonna downscale it or upscale it to the other one. So whatever they're gonna have to so say they they're gonna their target range the neo, they're gonna make it as Graphically as sense as they can and they can handle it. Then they're gonna pull features, things away, textures, they're gonna have to reduce it, shadow, whatever it is, to make sure it runs on a basic model, they'll do that. So I, I just hope people realize that because that's what's going to happen. We know they said they're not gonna separate the community, they're separating the developers of what they're gonna choose because now they're gonna have to choose one and they will choose one because they're not gonna there's no way they're gonna have enough time to develop for two separate ones. Even if it's a small feature, it's really there's certain textures and things you have to test and make sure the frames if it works because if it works on one version now you have to check does it work the same way in the next version so that's why it's kind of tricky and it takes more time to do that and i, I think I, that's something people the, miss the installs for the game too and any patch that comes out has to patch both versions mm -hmm. yeah. so like the first year because i have no idea the first year what those people already had the games planned out to release are going to do now are they going to try to up, you know, they make the resolution a little bit higher, add a couple more frames per second? What are they going to do for the first, the games are already in store for the next year because mm -hmm. they're not prepared for this. So what, what about PC? Well, PC is different, right? So the developer, there's a lot of things that they, they throw out there and they don't have to worry about because to be honest, they don't know what everyone's build is on a PC. 
when it's a lock console, they know what everyone's building. So they really have mm-hmm. to take the time to make sure that everything works in every situation. That's why they, all these patches come along when it's a locked console. Because even though it's upgraded, it's not upgradable. So you, it's locked. You know what I mean? So they already know the settings beforehand. And I think what's going to be interesting is going to be the first year. Because I have no idea the first year what those people that already had the games planned out to release are going to do now. Are they going to try to up, you know, like make the resolution a little bit higher, add a couple more frames per second? What are they going to do for the first, the games already in store for the next year? Because mm-hmm. they're not prepared for this. So that's what I'm kind of curious. What is the first year going to mean for this? If it's going to be mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you heard rumors of some developers that weren't happy. It's because of that reason, because some of them are already preparing for the next year and now they have to change their plans and alter it and might add time for de- development testing and stuff like that because of this so and, and, and well, uh, you, they don't have to have the faster frame rates or the uh, the high res textures they just got to make sure it works on the new yeah and that's the thing though it has to be this it has to be at least the same it can't be worse than the base model right i think that's what the rule was right it can't the neo can't be worse than the base model it has to be it runs uh as good or better than the base model but like for the people to buy both versions you're gonna see like what what's gonna sell to them you know sony's gonna push people to try to raise the resolution to to raise the frames per second they're gonna push them because otherwise who's gonna buy the neo version you know like that's the reason why they're gonna have to make sure the first year it's gonna be supported because otherwise it's gonna be dead after the first year you know so yeah that's the thing like and honestly i would as a consumer I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna buy yeah. this thing, right? Yeah. I think I, have to, I think we're all. Right? There's no doubt. I, I buy, you know, I buy it all. I buy it all. When it comes I out, I buy it, it, you know. All. And then I, I feel, I feel like an idiot when I have a Wii U that's been sitting there for three years and I've never touched it. <laughs> we all have that. <laughs> but I am gonna buy it. But if you are a rational human, like a rational thinking human being, making a real purchasing decision no, here, I don't need it. It's definitely a wait and see, yeah. Yeah. right? It's yeah. like. I, you know, with the mixed history of upgraded consoles, I mean, there's been successes. There was the Nintendo, uh, six, Nintendo 64 with its me, you know mega cart upgrade. Yeah, power pack, pack yeah. thing. I don't know how successful. Uh, you know, that we've really seen DSs was, get upgraded. We've seen uh, Game Boy Color was a big success, but we've seen colossal failures Sega CD, here too. Sega 30 X, Sega CD. Yeah, they come to mind. Um, you know, it, it, so it's really I would say wait and see. I wouldn't I wouldn't jump on this bandwagon any faster than you have At to. At first, well, I was a thinking lot of that the, a lot of, No, you go, go. A lot of consumers are thinking that this is Sony's way of saying "fuck you," and uh, I've talked to a lot of people. That. A lot of people yeah. have, are actually saying a lot of people feel that way. I personally don't. I think that this is kind of a premium item for those who already have a PlayStation Four. It's, it's up to you whether or not you. Yeah, it's up to you whether or not you want to get it. Will it affect the games that you're going to already be playing on your PlayStation 4? Only time will tell. See, that's the only kind of fluctuating thing in my mind. Are the games for the foreseeable future going to be at, a, a I guess, a subpar level compared to what they would have been if the Neo was never conceived? Yeah, because my as we- Well, my guess is, and I think not too nerdy, you can probably correct me if I'm wrong, but my guess is what we're going to see, especially in the first year, is games that look almost identical on a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation Neo, but maybe on the PlayStation Neo, it's just, it runs at a slightly faster frame rate. Oh, or, yeah. you know, because they're developing, they're going to be developing for, you know, the 30 million PlayStation 4s that are out there, not the 1, 1 million, million PlayStation yeah. Neos that are I out think, there. You know, like, I think what you said, is, I, that's exactly, I, I agree with that. I think, like, it's going to be a smoother frame rate, and it's going to be, like, a better frame rate with the Neo. I think that's what they're going to target now. And then later, when they understand it more, what they can use, they're probably going to try to make it a higher resolution, a little bit higher, a little bit better, see what they could do. Because to be honest with you, technically, like, you know, they could do, do like, like definitely locking in 1080p. Because remember, we're, we're doing 1080p 30 frames per second for the most part. There's no games that are 1080p 60 frames. 60, no. You know, I mean? I mean, so that's why they they could try to force it to see if they could reach that 10, 1080p 60 like they originally promised. Maybe that's a whole new ball game, you know. Maybe that's something that's good. But I think something to this Neo, the reason why it's coming out now. At first, I thought you know maybe it's a time you should wait and see. Is I don't know if you guys realize, but the 4K TVs 
are being rushed in way quicker than 1080p because yeah. 4K prices, if you saw like three years they ago what it cost for 4K TV yeah, and what yeah. it costs now, they're Huge so difference. affordable for most people yeah. that like 4K is being is coming in real quick. I'm seeing a lot of households getting them now and with by next year, they will a lot of households will have them. So that, that's the thing. And it looks magnificent. Yeah. It's it's a similar switch over when you when you first started watching 1080p, you didn't want to watch any standard definition content yeah. anymore. Nope. It's a similar kind of thing. Once you start, excuse me. Once you start watching uh, 4K content, you don't want to go back. You don't want to watch so PlayStation by getting in here early, this is a really smart move by PlayStation if they can pull it off. Especially, I agree with you, if they have that okay, Ultra DVD, HD Blu-ray yeah. support in, built in, I mean, that's going to that's gonna increase how many Blu-rays they can sell. It's going to, you know, it's, if it can stream Amazon and Netflix 4K, you know, that's going to be your streaming box. You know, you can forget about your Apple TV. You don't have to use that anymore because your PlayStation does all of it for you. Plus, it upreses your games to 4K, and maybe there's even like, you know, like a Geometry Wars type game that actually runs natively at 4K. Well, and another thing that'd be cool. Another thing, it's a compelling package if you just bought a new 4K TV, especially one of those brand new LG OLED jobbies <laughs> that I got my eye on. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the trigger, bro. Pull that trigger, man. Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, you know, in the future, when it comes to the Neo, that Sony might. You know, remaster, 4K remasters of old PlayStation classics. That's something they could probably do. They could up some old original PlayStation games that people still love and enjoy that you can buy on the PlayStation Network for six bucks. But it's not going to run 4K games. It's not. I still don't what see I'm saying well. is, What I'm saying is, those would be kind of along the lines of the kind of games that they would be aiming for as far as 4K because the original PlayStation games weren't graphically demanding at all. And so they could, theoretically, with this new power, possibly remaster some of those games in 4k and that might so you're just saying you're saying use the existing textures but just have the, yeah, the resolution yeah, the, of the game be that would look like garbage i think who knows i mean it would it would look bad <laughs> i want to jump into those, 4k those textures would be awful. i think at this point i think i'll that's that's the best thing they're putting themselves in the same position they did with the ps2 yeah, and dvd yeah. Yeah. the same yeah. position they put themselves in with the ps3 and blu-ray blu-ray yep. You know, it's just a smart position to be in, and why not do that for yourself? Yep. You know, mm. why not? Why not have your console be it be like a just an automatic buy for anybody who just bought a, a 4K Wait, TV? Wait, who owns Blu-ray though? Uh, who owns that again? Sony. Sony. Oh, there Sony. You know. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> they own part of it. It would be. It kind of makes sense if you if you try to aim towards the the new thing to sell your 4K Blu-ray. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Since it's no, fairly no, new. Absolutely. No. And they want to sell the TVs too, and this is to be a mm -hmm. compelling reason to buy a 4K TV. Well, my PlayStation. You know, it's just a smart position to be in, and why not do that for yourself? Yep. You know, mm. why not? Why not have your console be it? Be like a just an automatic buy for anybody who just bought a, a 4K Wait, TV. Wait, who owns Blu-ray though? Who owns that again? Sony. Sony. Oh, there Sony. You go. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> they own part of it. It would be. It kind of makes sense if you if you try to aim towards the the new thing to sell your 4K Blu-ray. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Since it's no, fairly no, new. Absolutely. No. And they want to sell the TVs too, and this is to be a mm -hmm. compelling reason to buy a 4K TV. Well, my PlayStation 4 does 4K, you know, stuff. TV stuff. Well, I want to see that. I want to see it in all its yep. glory. Now, now, let me ask you guys. Right now, one of the biggest problems with 4K TVs is that there's no content. Yeah, you can you can watch you know some stuff on Netflix. You can watch some stuff on Amazon, but Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray is night and day better. Mm -hmm. Like it oh, just yeah, looks it. fantastic. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question, okay? Um, talking of the console wars, do you guys think Microsoft has a contingency plan for if and when this Neo is released? I mean, because right now the way they as, better as we sit now, the PlayStation <laughs> Four is mopping the floor. With Microsoft, and if this PlayStation yeah. Neo comes out and it has even a bit of what we're speculating on today, people are going to fly out, especially the 4K Blu-ray. People are going to fly and buy these things off the shelf. It seems like Microsoft has to have some kind of contingency plan to make their Xbox One more viable because the the PlayStation Neo will be even more powerful than the Xbox One, more powerful yeah. than the PS4 is today. So I don't think they yeah. do, Beastly. I really don't. I don't think they it got seems it. Seems like they have like to. They, I think they're floundering. Like from the way, like we can't get a straight answer out of them unless they come out at E3. Maybe they got a plan all along, right? Maybe they got something at E3. But the way they've been talking lately is like, 
you know, we're thinking about doing like a modular console, and then no, 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 we never Phil do Spencer that. Was like, no, I don't really and like then, the idea of that. And so it's like, well, where yeah, do we stand? it's like <laughs> I think <sighs> they're coming out with a new model on E3. They're in E3. You think they're so? going to come you think out? Slim. Gonna pop a it's new just it's be the same thing, just a slim for to help oh. them out for costs. What? Like to lower the costs and everything to slim. I think this. I think they're slowly going to backpedal and get ready for a new cop. I think no. honestly. You, do you think they're gonna they're gonna rush development on a brand new Xbox? Like coming out, I say that I think they're gonna want to jump the gun before the PlayStation. Whether it's a PlayStation Five or not, if they in their minds they're saying in the next two years, I say two to two years from now they have to announce it. Like E three are going to be released next year. So that that, that was. Yeah, well, it was? Okay, well, I'm just going off the top, man. Awesome. So it looks like AMD is definitely, you know, in the know. They're working on... Uh, how, do, how do you figure that is that works, right? Are they talking fiscal years, or are they talking calendar years? Calendar years, I believe. Well, Cause, wait, cause it, I, I, we're, I we're expecting two consoles. Three, wait, yeah, for, I, I, for I, Xbox expect- alone or in total? Like, for the two Xbox and total, Yeah. Okay. They're working on three. Because we're expecting two consoles this year with new processors in them. Uh, I don't know. Well, so it, this AMD news says that there's going to be one major console this year at least, and then at least there's three year. in development by next year. Yeah. In development. Yeah, but I see that you said three. I believe. Well, because wait, cause it, I, I, we're, I we're expecting two consoles. Years. Three, wait, yeah, for, I, I, for I, Xbox expect- alone or in total? Like for the three Xbox in total, and Yeah. Okay. They're working on three. Because we're expecting two consoles this preference. year with new processors in them. I don't know. Well, so it, this AMD news says that there's going to be one major console this year at least, and then at least there's three year. in development by next year. Yeah. In development. Yeah, but I see that you said three. Then it's all it's Wii U, Xbox, and PlayStation all have their own, right? Well, NX. That's what yeah. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. The NX, PlayStation, PlayStation 4, NX. So what's that third one? Yeah, the, the Xbox One Point the Xbox. I still say the Slim. The two. Slim's gonna have to have a different G- GPU if it's Slim. So either way, they're gonna have to have a G- different GPU anyway. It doesn't mean it's yeah, you can't fit that fan it in does, a slimmer yeah, Xbox. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean <laughs> it's gonna run any faster. There, it doesn't mean it's gonna run any faster. Like it's gonna load like, you know, it might load the operating system faster, certain things in there. But overall, it's probably gonna be the same specs. It's just that they're gonna have to put a different model, and if it's gonna be slimmer. Because oh, that was, they can't do a VCR again. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me tell you guys something real quick. So I saw a Craigslist someone said they sell the Xbox One. I looked at it. It was straight up a VCR. It wasn't. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was really a VCR, a VHS like player. I, I was dying. Did it have twelve o'clock blinking on the front? What happened? Did it have twelve o'clock blinking it's, on the no, front? It, it just like they seriously <laughs> did it, and it, they, they it had like a little sticker that said Xbox, the Xbox logo sticker. I was dying. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> hey, it was only it was only for a hundred dollars. I wonder if anyone bought it. <laughs> Damn, you got an affordable Xbox One. There you go. <laughs> so everybody here is buying this Neo, right? Yeah. We're all planning on buying this yeah. thing. Yeah. What do you, like? What do you hope to see? From release games, right? Let's assume this thing comes out in October along with the the goggles, right? The PlayStation VR. Let's assume that they're a simultaneous release. What do you guys expect to see? What do you hope to see right off the bat? I hope bat? to see more games uh, possibly like hit the benchmark of maybe 60 frames per second, whether that's 1080 or not. That would be really nice to see like a frame rate increase. That's the main thing I want out of this. Other than just resolution, that's what I would like. I 100% agree with you, Robbie. Um, when it comes to consoles, we're never going to be as good as PC. And for the people on consoles who actually believe that, you better get that out of your head. It's never going to happen. Uh, I oh, expect- that is good. Not <laughs> as good as not consoles. As close. Um, I hope to see uh, 60 frame, uh, 60 frames per second in, in more games. You probably won't see it in, in many, but more than we're seeing now. Uh, I want to see some type of graphical uh, upgrades over what we're seeing on the PlayStation 4. As long as I know they're there, I'll feel better about the purchase. And I want a really good VR experience. I want, yeah. I've never experienced... The first VR I ever experienced, believe it or not, was yesterday. Uh, I went inside a GameStop, and they're actually selling the Samsung Gear VR, uh, you know, VR headset that you put on, and yep. uh, the gentleman let me put it on, and I, I walked around. I was like in Africa, and uh, there were people there, and I was like, "Yes, <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Uh, but anyway, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking that, but I'm like, oh, no one's gonna say that. Robin, you're <laughs> Beasley, man, handle your boy. He, 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 he can get away with it. He's in Canada. Handle your I, can't, boy. I can't fuck with him. He's in Canada. But, uh, when, when I put wow. this headset on, it was a very surreal feeling because it wasn't a video game. It was, I guess, it was kind of FMV. But I turned around, I was looking. The sun was over in the distance. And I turned, there was a village of people. And there was an old man and a woman just standing there looking at me. And I'm inside GameStop with this crazy, you know, contraption on. And I looked at him and my immediate response was, I said, hi. And then the, <laughs> and then the guys in there start laughing. And I realized, oh, shit, I took it off. Because they were looking at me like, what are you doing here? I turned back and looked and I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> and I realized, wow, I'm in fucking VR. So that was honestly my very first VR experience. That's cool, man. I yeah. totally, That's pretty good. totally can't wait for this. If PlayStation VR, I know it's going to be gaming centric. They give me some kind. I've seen like games like The Deep, where you go down and you're in the ocean and sharks and stuff try to come oh, and get you. Cool. Games like that are going to be a whole new kind of experience. A whole new door is going to open for me, and I just hope that the PlayStation Neo, code name Neo, code name Nebuchadnezzar, is going to um, offer that kind of uh, uh, immersion because that really it blew my mind. I turned, I saw those people, and I, I, if, I felt like I was looking at real people because it was like full motion video. And I, I was in the desert. I tried to walk. I was looking at the ground. I was, and I said, I looked up, and they were just standing like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I just said, "Oh hi," <laughs> and then everybody inside GameStop laughed at me, and I took that shit off. I was like, "Wow, oh, this is how stupid incredible. I'm going to look inside my house." Yeah. But yeah, that's that's what <laughs> I hope to get out of the VR experience. You know, total foolishness. People looking at me laughing because I want to be totally submerged in an experience. And That's hopefully, hopefully. so funny that you said that because when I got the Gear VR around um, Christmas time, I remember when the first time I put it on, you could see these crowds of people everywhere, and I'm just like waving to them. I'm like, this is incredible! Like it feels like you're fucking there. It is amazing technology. It really yeah. is. This one company, yeah, I, I, I forgot, I forgot the name of them, but like what you're saying about the immersion and stuff like that, like I the coolest thing I ever seen. Like it was something so basic, like they're watching the sporting event with the VR, right? And it's just a sporting event. It's not that it's pretty basic, right? But then, like, it looked like you're watching it, and it's sort of like you're watching like a a movie theater, like TV, and that's how you're watching it. But you turn over, and like it says that this person just logged in, so the other person is next to you now. That's one of your you friends. You see them and, in the and theater with you, and oh, you shit. see them, and you're chatting with them. You're chatting with someone, and you're talking about that. I'm about just picturing movie, that. Because- that's I'll cool. picture like, can you imagine that in like a video game? So say, say you're in a chat room, and now like, say they did like theater mode for like let's like Street Fighter or something, and now you're watching, you're waiting to get up there and fight. And everyone's in the theater mode, and they're 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 talking crap <laughs> to each other, getting ready to play. Like uh, stuff like this is like what I want to see. You know what see, I mean? This is- I could be playing Beastly on Street Fighter, and like he's right next <laughs> to me, like we're playing at the arcade, yeah. and when he dragon punches me or uses some cheap fucking tactic <laughs> and kills me, <laughs> I'll be like. Bomb. <laughs> and, and that's when you hear my brother getting his divorce. I'm tired of this bastard hitting me every time. I play Fucking TV bitch line. grenades what again, man! Bombs. Bitch bombs again. <laughs> uh, not too dirty. I actually uh. was talking to my wife about the potential of VR and the stuff I would like to see. Free type of apps that I think would really bring communities together. I told, and this is my own idea. So if anybody steals it, go ahead. A campfire or a campfire type of scenario. Where you actually create your character, or model them after yourself. I don't know if the PlayStation camera would be able to like take images of you and actually put it in the game. But you're sitting in your living room, and all of a sudden you log in, and you're like sitting around a campfire. And as you look around, you actually see people that you know from the real world because maybe they've scanned their image in. And you guys are sitting, you know, smoking 420, drinking alcohol, drinking fruit punch, but you guys are just catching up, talking, and it, it feels like a real. A physical environment because you can look around and see your friends. And you guys can actually sit and talk and kind of catch up. I think things like that would be awesome to have in VR. They kind of bring communities together. I don't think that'll ever work because you not once did you mention marshmallows. Like how to how to. Ah, fuck you shit. <laughs> <laughs> you I just like, you know, basically all I pictured was my mother getting a hold of this thing, and now I got to talk to her in VR. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, 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 click, you keep clicking that ignore button. She's like, I know you're there. I see you. <laughs> I, know, I can see you. Can you're see right you. there. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. Uh, it is 7 o'clock. We've been on li we're live for an hour. Tonight is Game of Thrones night. Correct. And we know what that means. I cannot be Guys, late. I cannot be late. <laughs> we, had, we had a little bit of news to cover tonight, but we're going to go. Yeah, so let's rapid fire the news. You guys let's rapid, rapid fire, fire or news. you want to just cover it? Yeah, let's week? rapid okay. fire. An online retailer lists Titanfall 2 with a 2016 release date. Yay! I hope that's Dark Souls, real. Dark Souls 3 is the I hope that's real, too. Yeah, me too. Dark Souls 3 is the fastest selling game ever for publisher Bandai Namco. Good for them. Ubisoft has filed a trademark for something called One. Six six six, an announcement at this year's E three seems likely. I don't like six six six. One, I'm sorry, one six six six. Sixteen sixty six. All I it's see is it's the prequel Satan, to man. seventeen eighty six. The order. Yeah, Satan sure. man. I don't know. <laughs> How did you get that? I don't know. Yeah, a new, new game. A I new mean, rumors, whatever. A new a new rumor suggests the PlayStation four point five is codenamed Neo. The hardware specifications for the console have been detailed kind of late. Uh, Microsoft is testing Wait, a variety of new prototypes. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. What's the deal? Microsoft Beasley, you're breaking up a little bit. Can you let Robbie read these? <laughs> he can't read. He lives in Canada. Shut up. Let me take over. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get you back for Africa, you asshole. Go ahead and read. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've already went over most of this. <laughs> Sorry. But... I said Africa song. Anyway, <laughs> continue. <laughs> Are assholes. I should just leave right now. All right. I'm out. I'm going back to Canada where people are nice. All right. People are pretty nice here, not like you did. <laughs> All right. We are completely off the rails. Batman Return to Arkham, a collection of the first two Arkham games for PS4 and Xbox One, has been rated by the European Ratings Board. It will be released on June 10th. So more remasters. So the first two Arkham games. Yes. Wait, the first two Batman games? Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, City yes. with all their DLC, okay. all that remastered. You know, we know how this goes. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Bargain game. That's it. Oh, day. that's all the news. We forgot. Uh, Microsoft has officially ended production of the Xbox 360. More than Arkham 10 Asylum years and Arkham uh, City. City. What the fuck? Yeah. Where are you behind? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're not talking about that anymore. <laughs> what? Oh what was that? Wow, that was a hell of a delay. I was so confused. I was so delayed. <laughs> the audio is delayed, I think. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> going so off the rails. Oh, my God. So Xbox 360... Gonzo, it's right? Done. If you want one, snatch it up now before it's gone forever, right? Otherwise, you'd be buying used ones or searching out unopened boxes on eBay and paying double Which the price. Garage sales has a lot of PS3 and Xbox 360s. I've been noticing that. Just letting you know already they're selling at garage sales. So Yeah. <laughs> amazing console, amazing generation, though. And uh, it's definitely sad to see it go. I mean, I didn't expect it this quick. Like, all of a sudden, Over. just one day, I was like, it's done. Wow, that's it. So... Goodbye. I don't know. I bought, I think, five of those things over its lifespan. I'm not buying anymore. <laughs> I'm done with that thing. All right. Great console when it works. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a red brick. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. Great, man. It was an awesome week. It was really Where's fun to talk about the PlayStation console. All right. I got to. Beastly, are you there? Can you respond to me now? I don't even understand what's going on right now. I don't know. Like, the lag is intense. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> that is yes. Really delayed. Oh, my God. That is a mega I delay. Lag on this side. Oh, what the man. fuck is happening you don't? here? <laughs> we don't know. I got, like, a, I got a 15 on? second delay between when you respond, like, after I ask a question to you, Beastly, and when you respond. There's, like, a 15 second delay. <laughs> There was only one delay at one point for me. I, I, other than that, everyone's perfect right now for me on my side. Really? Yeah. All right. All right. So you can All hear right. me. Heck? So yeah, I can hear you. What's up? How you doing? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's Brian. All right. It's fixed now. No, it's fixed now. Right. Do you guys want to answer questions? Maybe if we have a couple minutes. <clears throat> oh, we got a we, Game of Thrones, man. You're gonna have to have this man sleeping in the doghouse. It's up to you, Brian. Yes, there, there's there's no to... chance I could be late. Wow. Oh, All right. No chance. <laughs> I will literally. No I, chance. I have I have flesh to lose in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just end it then.
Thank you guys for everybody watching. Who's got something they want to uh, po- pimp out today? Charity Check streams. Hector, I can see you. Charity Check streams. The whole, the whole week, probably next week too, a little bit. But for this week, I will be tweeting. So if you're not, um, you know, if you're not following me on Twitter, definitely go to Not Too Nerdy. Okay, N O T, the number two nerdy. I'm not too nerdy. Just remember that. And that's it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when I'm live streaming on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. If you want to donate, that's great. If you just want to watch, that's that's awesome too because someone will eventually donate and it's awesome just watch and have fun. If you want to play too, just let me know. Whether it's random games, PC games, most likely I'm going to be live streaming PC games because it's a lot easier. I might do PS4 games as well. So if you guys want to play or anything, get the stream going. It'll be lots of fun. It's for a good cause. So. Let me know when you're doing this because I definitely want to get involved. Yeah, in I'll it. tweet all you. I'll tweet all you guys when I do it and stuff like that. So awesome! Sounds good. Give me, give me, like a few minutes heads up so I can. Oh, yeah, I'll let you know. Like if I'm streaming, I can, you know, I can, you know, host you on stream or something, and then come in and hang out and chat a little bit and have some all fun. Right, slide cool. into my DMs, baby. Slide right on. <laughs> man. Well, that's direct message. Uh, I think I'll pull out. You, you guys, guys are, are nasty. nasty. <laughs> what the what fuck? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's just scared the crap out of me. Ridiculous ending we've ever done. Beastly, oh are you God. frozen right now? No, I, I had to come back. I had to come you back. You are frozen on my screen. Saying. You are frozen on my screen right now. I see you too. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look good. It's a good picture. Yeah, right, so. if I can do better in real time. It looks like it'll be a driver's <laughs> license picture right there. It's not bad, actually. Okay. But, <laughs> my real driver's license picture sucks ass. You should, you should uh, just I'm cut gonna, this one out. You're good. I'm going to uh, be, be stopping by your stream this week, and I'm going to be uh, sending you a donation. Uh, I appreciate anybody who's doing something for a good cause. My sister was actually born premature, and my sister was two pounds when she was born. She just turned 29 on the 21st. She still looks like a little girl. She looks like she's about 12. So these things can really uh, affect people in life. And uh, as someone who has someone who was affected by a premature birth very close to me, uh, it really means a lot to me to see you doing that. So thank you. Uh, And all I'll be doing this week, guys, is uploading videos, working, and hopefully you guys enjoy the content. So swing by the Beastly Gamer channel, check out some of the videos, check out some of the playlists, and I'll see you there. Beast is like, all I'm going to be doing this week, guys, is fucking killing it. Yeah. Yeah. You better stop by. Stop by. <laughs> you might want to check this yeah. out. <laughs> Robbie, what you got going on? This uh, week? Not much. I'm a basic bitch. Sorry. <laughs> basic bitch. <laughs> that was great, Robbie. Damn, man. All right. Obviously, I'll be uh, streaming more throughout the week, and I will be. I actually got a shard it or keep it episode that I'll be getting footage for tomorrow. It should be up either uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I got a lot. I got a lot of YouTube's ready or YouTube videos ready to go. But uh, streaming has definitely caught my attention lately, and I've sp- been spending a lot more time doing it, and it's been a lot of fun. So. Um, that's what I got going on. I'm really looking forward to this week. I'm really looking forward to Game of Thrones, man. Is that motherfucker dead or I not? Seen one episode. Jesus, you can't Don't snow, buddy. Quit talking about it. Let's just... I haven't seen one episode yet. Mr. Snow. Oh, I'm just uh, continuing. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. That's show it's, with the... it's Mr. Snow if you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's the show with the blonde chick. That who... Isn't that the show with the blonde chick who got raped and liked it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wow. Did you click stop? Already? And that <laughs> is how we'll that end this show. Horrible. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Uh, if you missed any of the show, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be posting it on YouTube as well. Peace. See Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Same time. Bye. Same time, same place. Same bat channel. <laughs> God. Sasquatch's show.